Hi guys, Evernote and Joplin are two services to take notes, but which one should you be using? Evernote is a popular note taking app with a large user base, 225 million active users globally. It has established a solid reputation among students and professionals. People often use it for both their personal and professional needs. Evernote lets you capture and prioritize ideas, projects, and to-do lists so you can focus on what matters the most and get quick access to that information anytime from anywhere since it works pretty much everywhere. On the other hand, Joplin also is a note-taking app, but the main difference is that Joplin does not limit storage and stuff because it's offline. You must create your files to use the app on another computer. The team has built a plan called Joplin Cloud if you like to see in between devices. So the question is, how are they different? Let's find out. For the user interface, both Evernote and Joplin has distinctive styles. Based on its UI and UX, Evernote clearly looks more polished. It looks and feels like business productivity software. Moreover, the state color scheme of Evernote creates a known nonsense feel. Apart from this, Evernote can be customized according to a user's preferences. You can change previews of notes according to your requirements. Simply put, when it comes to look and fail, Evernote has everything in place. For the platforms, both programs are offered on major devices, including Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS. Joplin is available on Linux, and Evernote's Linux version is still in the private beta and is still in early access. But also have browser extensions to screenshot pages and save them to your account. The Evernote extension offers multiple capture features, including full page, area, and screenshots. Joplin's extension also supports saving links and taking screenshots. However, it only works with Firefox and Chrome, while the Evernote extension works on Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Safari, and Edge. And for the templates, Evernote allows us to create notes from professionally built templates. Evernote has about 60 templates that can boost your work life. 58 templates. The templates are divided into different categories such as creative writing, home and garden, personal well-being, and school. Joplin, in contrast, does not offer any templates, but you can create a custom template and save it to use in other notes. The procedure is slightly different, we need the template plugin to complete the job. For integrations, we don't have any official Joplin integrations, but it supports many plugins to enhance the app's functionality. All plugins are hosted in the GitHub repository, and some knowledge is required to install those. Evernote offers a few unique integration options that allow users more flexibility. The best integration feature, however, is its ability to search both Google and your notes simultaneously. Evernote integrates with Google Calendar, Slack, Microsoft Teams, Salesforce, Gmail, and Google Drive. One of the most powerful features of Evernote is the ability to collaborate with other people. You can share notes via a public link or by sending an email invitation. When sending an invitation via email, you can provide access to view, edit, edits and invites. Joplin supports syncing and collaboration, but only in the paid plans. For note-taking tools, bots offer a variety of note-taking tools. In Evernote, the editing tools are accessible via the toolbar at the top of the page. It also provides numerous text customization options. Here is a list of the editing tools, like font style, size and color, highlight text, bold, italic and underline, and insert link, list of to-do items, table, include audio and images, audio recording, code block, integrates Google Drive, etc. Joplin, in comparison, has both Markdown and rich text editors. The Markdown editor enables us to format text using keyboard symbols. Other than that, Joplin offers the following tools for editing, like headings, h1, h2, and h3, and bold, underline, block quotes, and code block, and insert link, table, etc. Exporting notes is something very note taken up offers. Evernote supports exporting notes in PDF, NX, and HTML formats. Joplin, on the other hand, 
can export in JEX, Markdown, PDF, HTML, and RAW formats. And for the pricing, let's start with Evernote. In the free plan, you get 25 megabytes max node size with a monthly 6 megabytes upload limit and also synchronization of up to two devices. The personal plan costs $8 per month if you pay monthly and 5.83 per month if yearly. You get 200 megabytes node size and 10 gigabytes monthly upload limits and synchronization to unlimited devices. Other than this, it allows you to create and assign tasks, set reminders, and set due dates. The professional plan costs $10 per month for a monthly billing. You get everything in the personal plan plus all these features, like the monthly upload limits of 20 GB, unlock all widgets and customization options, assign tasks and track progress, integrate with other premium apps. And the Evernote Teams plan costs $15 per user per month. Joplin Cloud allows you to synchronize your notes across devices. It also lets you publish notes and collaborate on notebooks with team members. There are three price plans for Joplin Cloud. The basic plan costs two euros per month for a monthly billing and one euro and fifty per month for yearly billing. It includes the following features like maximum notes and attachment size of ten megabytes and total storage limits of 1 GB and publish notes online. The Pro plan costs 6 euros per month. It offers 200 MB per node size, 10 GB total storage, sharing, and collaboration. The Team plan costs 8 euros per month along with all the Pro plan features. It allows you to manage users, configure access control while sharing, and get help from priority support. Evernote and Joplin are useful for taking notes, keeping track of information, and planning tasks. Evernote has a clean and straightforward interface. It includes a lot of editing tools and customization options. In contrast, Joplin's Markdown editor gives us more freedom to format notes. Both have different audience types. Choosing between them depends on your business and your needs. So that's it for this video. Hopefully this video helped you out and bye bye.